Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, recently I posted a video of me playing Pokemon Emerald on my PS Vita and I said you did not need Vita Half Byte Loader and now I'm going to give you a tutorial on how you would do this. Okay, so the number one thing you need is PlayStation Mobile Studio and Publishing Utility. It's actually extremely easy to get this, so I'll show you right now. Okay, so just search up PSM Mobile Development Kit, and then you should get it right here. So what you need to do is you need to sign up for this and download the files it gives you to use it. What you do need is you do need a uh, what's it called? A development kit license to do this. So you need to apply for that, but it is free. Don't worry. It is free. It says purchase, but it is free, so don't worry. So after you download that stuff, make sure you download the Vita Remote Play client and server. I'll give a link for that in the description. You'll also need a Game Boy emulator and a GBA file that you can play. So you also need your Vita to be plugged into the PC as well. Okay so the first thing you do is open Publishing Utility. Let me plug in my Vita here to show you. Then you go to Key Management and your stuff should pop up here. First, what you need to do is give your Vita a key, so I'll just name it YouTube after you guys. And then you type in your your SEN. Okay, that's not mine, but uh, I just typed the password in wrong. But yeah, you do that, and it should create a key for you. Then next, what you do is very simple, is just go to add a key here, click here, and then go to your Vita remote desktop, go to client, client again, and then app. You click that right here, and then it will ask you to do this. You just press OK, and then you do your stuff again, and it should create a key for you here. Very simple. Okay, next, what you do you go into PSM Studio let me just put it here open solution or file then again go to your where you have your file right here via remote client SLN this file here very simple next what you do is Build all, build successful, clean all, build successful, build Vita remote client, it'll say seven warnings but it doesn't matter, it'll still work, and then clean all, clean the remote client, sorry. Very simple. Also, you do need to download the uh, assistant onto your PS Vita. It's very simple, just go go to the PlayStation Store. Let me show you. Wait one sec. I'll open notepad to give you steps. Number one. Go to PlayStation Store. to touch the three dots on the bottom left three go to active downloads oh wait sorry no not active downloads go to 
let me check what it actually is here. I'm sorry I can't show you footage of, footage of my Vita. It's uh, my camera's bad as you saw before and I don't have really, I don't really have any good editing software. So I don't really want to put them together without, because uh, Windows Movie Maker, it just makes it terrible. It doesn't make it big screen, it sucks. And right, yeah, you click on the three dots. Yeah, download list. Click on download list. Four. Find the developer assistant. Also, if you made a uh, PlayStation Mobile developer account, it should pop up in your downloads. So, 5, download the assistant, and play it. Okay, there's all the steps there. I'm not going to save that. So next, what you do, if you have your Vita plugged in, go on to your developer thing that I showed you before. It should have a picture of a Vita and a weird looking shape beside it and it's blue. And then once this happens... Anyway, someone just knocked on my door. So once you go into the PlayStation Mobile Development Assistant, it should say that your PS Vita is on. It's very simple now. Just go to Run, Run With, PlayStation Vita and then press control F8 and it will install the thing onto your Vita. I already have it installed so it gives me this error message. Then you press control F5 and it will run and it will deploy it to your device. And then if you look down your Vita it would have said installing and now you'll have a Vita remote client on your thing. Very simple. And then if you look at your Vita now, exactly now, it would have just popped up. It will have, it will say IP address, all your stuff on it, your, an IP address, and connect and cancel. So now what you can do is you can actually X out of this. And then it will close. But it's very simple now. You have it on your Vita. It's great. So next what you're going to have to do is go to command prompt right here then you type in IP config you have to find your IP v4 address right here very simple you, you should probably write that down and then next what you want to do is you want to go to Vita remote server then run the Vita remote server and you'll see in the bottom left it pops up what your server is running on so next put this all the way to the top for the best quality possible then click on your Vita remote client then wait for it to pop up on your Vita type in your IP address and press connect very simple and then if you look down on your Vita now it you should be able to see your desktop if you have a black screen you probably aren't using the same software I am I will I will provide the one I am using in the description and plus the the password for the RAR file for this is just simply legend so you have it on your Vita right it's great now how are you gonna play your Game Boy games very simple this is actually very simple just go to Visual Boy or whatever one you used and you'll have it here right then simply reposition it to be on your Vita screen like I am doing now. Yet again, I apologize for not being able to show it to you. Your FPS might drop, and it will drop, because this is early software. I don't know if it's still being developed or not. So anyway, go to File, right here, Open. Go to the place where you have your Game Boy file. Click on it, and it should open. It's taking a little while on mine. 
Let me open it again. Okay, let me find it here. My Vita just shut off, so. And it's not here. <coughs> let me see here. I'm going to put this Pokemon Emerald in the Vita Remote Client. File open. Pokemon Emerald. Okay, I'm having a little problem here, but it should work for you 100% if you have the right files. Anyway, yeah, so then you can just reposition it again onto your screen, and it should be on there. So it's very easy what you do now because you have to re put the controls in. Just go to Options, Joypad, Configure. Just configure whatever it is on yours. And up and down, it's on this software, it's automatically WASD. But for A button, just simply click the A button on your Vita or any button you want to be A button on your Vita. I use X and it replaces it as K. So say if I want it to be the B button, make sure your Vita remote desktop is on and your Vita isn't like closed. I just got to redo this here because if you leave it off for too long, it'll actually shut off and disconnect from the server to save bandwidth. So just reconnect. Anyway, yeah, it has it up on my Vita. So say I want the B button to be triangle. I'll just press triangle. Let me just make sure it's on here. Press triangle, and it will replace it with the button that triangle is automatically mapped to on this software. Very, very, very simple. Because I usually put it on O, I'll just put on O again. And it will replace it to L. I didn't click my keyboard or anything. I simply just touched my Vita buttons. So that's how you do it, guys. I'm sorry I can't show you footage. My computer's fucking up on me, and it sucks. But anyway, yeah. And just reposition on your Vita. Sadly, you have to be on your Wi-Fi. You can actually pull out your cord now. But you have to be on your Wi-Fi in your house in order for it to work. But other than that, it's great. It's a little unresponsive because, you know, it's low technology because it's just being developed. But guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment. It'll be great. And uh, have a great day.